Project Lead the Way is a national not-for-profit educational program that helps give middle and high school students the rigorous, ground-level education they need to develop strong backgrounds in science and engineering. Under the direction of Superintendent Dr. Terry Adams, the program was first offered in the Wentzville School District in 2007. When I moved to the school district, we started the discussions about uh, what are we doing to try to foster uh, students thinking of engineering as a career and trying to get them to, to make practical use of the science and mathematics that they're learning in our high schools and our junior highs. Design and modeling is the Project Lead the Way class currently offered in our three middle schools. It is designed to challenge and engage the natural curiosity of students. Yeah, see, it's right here. If it's right here. It's students use geometry, problem solving, teamwork, and project management skills to design and develop product prototypes. They're learning the basics of design and the, we use the 3D modeling program uh, called Inventor. So basically, they come up with an idea um, for a design, they sketch it in a traditional way, and then they learn how to incorporate that into a computer 3D model. At the high school level, we offer Introduction to Engineering Design and Principles of Engineering. The Introduction to Engineering Design class involves the use of 3D software to design projects. Students follow the process from the inception through manufacturing and marketing of their design. Got all of our criteria and stuff, constraints that we had to have. And then we started drawing out ideas for possible shapes. We brainstormed there. And then we chose the shapes that we wanted to and put them together. Principles of Engineering delves more into physics and mathematics and involves more hands-on learning. Students design and manufacture items like the mouse trap car to certain specifications in a team environment. The principles of engineering is a little more hands-on. It's, it's a little more in-depth on, you know, levers, pulleys, uh, electric, electronics, uh, fluid power, uh, things like that. It's more of the practical side versus the design and marketing side. We'll be building a marble sorter and it has to sort ten marbles by color and size and that sort of stuff. So it's, the kids really enjoy doing that stuff and they learn a tremendous amount. Project Lead the Way recognizes the critical shortage of engineers entering the field at a time when technology continues to reinvent itself. I'm interested in electrical engineering for my major in college, so I figured it'd be a really good way to get exposed to engineering. Now that I've started this class, I thought a little bit about engineering, but now I think it's, it's something that I might want to go for in life. Project Lead the Way's curriculum makes math and science relevant for today's students. By engaging in hands-on, real-world projects, students understand how the skills they're learning in the classroom can be applied in everyday life. I'm a very hands-on person. I don't like just being able to listen. Um, I'm more of a hands-on kind of person, so um, being involved in this class just makes me learn things by doing instead of just listening. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's it's not so much like you do the math and you don't see any benefits of it. It's like you do the math and you see results. Research shows that students involved in Project Lead the Way have an increase in motivation, an increase in cooperative learning skills and higher order thinking, and improvement in student achievement in both mathematics and science in standardized assessments. The data from Project Lead the Way is, you know, shows, you know, over the, the last 10 years, it shows um, an increase in math and science scores with the districts that have gone with Project Lead the Way. So I think, I think we're headed in the right direction. So who should participate? Well, students who have an interest in science, technology, engineering, or math, and any student who is enrolled in a college preparatory math course should consider the program as a means of career exploration. That's a cool thing about engineering is, you know, there's a hundred devices that can do the same thing effectively. So. I can't tell them that this is wrong or this is right necessarily. As long as it meets the criteria, like, you know, if A happens, then we need to have B happen, as long as it meets those criteria. And when you're building things with your hands and, and you have to use the math and science principles that are, uh, that are taught to you uh, in order to be able to do that, it's a, it's a further manifestation of uh, application and it takes it to a higher level of learning. And, and uh, that's exactly what we ought to be trying to accomplish in our schools. Three, two, one. Go. Uh -huh. The Winsville School District is proud to offer this program 
and students who take these courses will benefit from the rigorous, relevant, and engaging education they receive from Project Lead the Way.